The biblical story of Jonah begins a long time ago in the land of Israel, when an ordinary Hebrew man, Jonah, heard the voice of God, commanding that he go to the great city of Nineveh in Assyria and preach to the local inhabitants who had become sinful. Jonah wanted no part of this, so he immediately tried to flee in the opposite direction. He went down to the seaport city of Jaffa, and hired a boat to take him to Tarshish on the other side of the sea. But after the ship set sail, a great storm arose, which threatened to sink the boat. Jonah knew that the storm had been caused by his refusal to obey God, and directed the seamen, none of whom were Hebrew, to throw him overboard into the sea. The sailors were horrified at this request, but they did not want to die. So they begged God for forgiveness and understanding, as they did not want to kill an innocent person, and heaved Jonah overboard, ending the storm. Immediately, Jonah was swallowed by a giant fish, or perhaps a whale, where he remained for three days. He begged God for another chance, saying that he would obey God and sacrifice to him if only he could be saved and the giant fish spit out Jonah onto dry land. God once again told Jonah to go to Nineveh, and this time he did. When he told the Assyrian people to repent or die, they listened. Even the king put on sackcloth and ashes, and commanded everyone to turn from their evil ways. The king declared a fast, no food or water for man or beast, to atone for their sins, in the hope that God would relent in his harsh decree. And God did so, renouncing the punishment. This made Jonah very unhappy. He complained to God, Isn't this what I said you would do? I knew you were a kind, compassionate God who would forgive Nineveh. Take my life, I would rather die than live. Jonah then ran away to the desert, where he set up a booth and God made a vine grow up on the booth to give cooling shade, which made Jonah very happy. But overnight, a worm came and killed the vine, so that the hot sun beat down on Jonah, who again begged for death. That was the last straw for God, who declared, You cared so much about the vine, which you didn't plant and didn't work for. Shouldn't I care about the people of Nineveh, many of whom don't know any better?' 